gold to go get a log. Not just any log, but the log for the fire. And we went into the woods and searched and we found a log that was about three feet in diameter. It was a beautiful log. And we had to actually pick the thing up and put it in the back of my truck, of my car. And that was five years ago. And what we did is we took it out of my car and then some of the bad stuff started to happen. The ants started to run out of the log. So, being the wise men that we were, we decided to put gasoline in the log. And as we lit the log outside in front of the hall, and the ants ran out on fire burning, we were quite proud of ourselves. We put the log out with water, and we brought it in. That's the great one for them. And they told us, no, no, you cannot burn that log. So we struggled to figure out what we were going to do with that log. Because there was only an hour left in Wee Wah, and he seemed to explain to us that it would burn for, oh, many days. So we took it up into the attic, and it was quite an adventure taking it up in the attic. I didn't think I could lift that much weight, and many years went by. I missed one year. Jane came back. We didn't get the log out. And I think it was three years later, we pulled the beautiful log out, and we took it out to the fire of friendship. And we threw the log on, and it burned. It burned all night, and it was a great night. Then the next morning, the the fire was mostly smoldering and the blog was still there, so I drug it and rolled it, burning <laughs> still. But we're back to the cabins and we put it out. We got a lot of smoke inhalation that day, but we put it out. It was a big steamy pile of mushy black goo on it. But after we put it out, we decided to take it up in the attic. It's it been burned three times, three times a lady. Took it up in the attic, left it up there for two years. And the day Shane threw it out of the attic, and this is the uh, final resting place for it. Yeah. <laughs>